Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So this week I just wanted to do a quick review of some different hair products. Lately I've had a lot of people ask me about what exactly I use in my hair. I'm going to be showing you a couple of products and rate them out of five based on if they're able to do what they claim to do on their own. A lot of the times I find that I'll use products with another product to get what, exactly what I'm looking for. I say the oils claim to add moisture to your scalp, I'll give that a five out of five. And if a style cream, claims to style and add the moisture, 5 out of 5 as well. If I find it's missing a step, I'll rate it about a 4 out of 5 or less. Alright, so now that you understand the rating system, I'll get into the products and show you guys what I was loving for the past couple of months. Not all of these are the most natural and I'm slowly making the change into completely natural hair products. These are all empty because I have used them dry. This is a must have if you're a curly girl, you need a big spray bottle that you can fill with conditioner and water and refresh your day two hair so that you're not washing your hair constantly and drying it out. So I'm gonna start out with the oils. I like to use oils on my scalp. Personally, I need that extra little bit of moisture. So my favorite would have to be this guy right here. This cost me three or four dollars at Chloré Beauty Supply. Um, this is the Tea Tree Oil Premium Natural Hair Oil because I know tea tree is really good for dandruff. It's by Defeel Different Hair. That's a cute name, I never read it before. Defeel. I was surprised at the price because usually when you're getting a product that's natural, they'll charge you out the wazoo, but this is this is some good stuff and it comes in this little dropper so you can just run it through your scalp and when you got that weave in girl yeah it does exactly what you need it to do and i love this product big fan so big ups d feel five out of five you the best next on the list this guy right here this is the jamaican black castor oil this is the mango and lime version it's okay i don't like that it has a really yellow tinge to it when my hair was lighter if i used a lot of it you could see it in my hair i don't like having to worry about getting hair product or anything on my clothes it's very very yellow it says here that it treats dry nails and cuticles softens dry skin i am a strong advocate for jamaican black castor oil it's done great things for my scalp overall so not necessarily just this brand but Jamaican black castor oil is a great product and I do recommend. The reason I picked this one up is because it contains vitamins A, D, and E. It smells really good and it did keep my scalp moisturized so I can't completely bash the product. Three out of five. It's, it's good. Next on the list be this macadamia nut oil. This stuff smells so freaking nice. I guess most oils are kind of tinted. No, this one's still not as tinted. This one doesn't have the best um, ingredients in it. Kernel oil, perfume, a whole bunch of things that probably aren't the best for your hair, but if you want something that smells really good, like some people like to use hair mists and that type of thing, this I would recommend for that. It gave my hair a beautiful glossy shine, so I like this product. I'll give it a two out of five. Now on to my leave-in conditioners. This is my Lotta Body with Coconut and Shea Oils to refresh day two hair, this works so well. So I'll just spritz it a bit with some water. So after I spritz my hair with this, I will use this Lotta Body. You can either get it in a spray or in the pump. I recommend the pump, because then I can mix it with a little bit of water in my hands and run it through without wasting product. This goes pretty quickly for me, but I do love that it just disperses it evenly and smells absolutely amazing. It says it conditions, detangles, it has a heat protector, adds moisture and shine, prevents split ends, and tames frizz. I've purchased this probably about five or six times and I absolutely love it. Easy five out of five for me. This here is a curl defining cream. Now they call it a cream, it's more of a gel. I liked this a lot when my hair was transitioning from relaxed hair to my curly hair now because I was really looking for anything that had a creamy type of gel consistency so that it would help shape my curls as well as nourish. And I found that this worked really well for a matter of time until my hair became actually quite curly. Then it didn't work as well for me, but I used it up. And again, it smells really nice. Not the worst ingredients. I would say this is a good four out of five. I say four because eventually didn't really do what I wanted it to do. It's kind of like when you exercise, okay? So as you start working out, like 
a certain amount of weight will work well for you, but then once you reach a point in time, you need to switch. So I had to work with something heavier after a while, but this works really well if you want something light for your hair and you don't tend to use that much product. Four and a half out of five, let's say. Cantu! Everybody knows Cantu, right? This is the leave-in conditioning repair cream. I was using this when I lightened my hair because I needed so much product. It was good to just go in there with my hands, scoop it all, and run it all through some of my wet hair. If you like a lot of heavy product, I would recommend this for sure. Even if you use it sparingly, it's a really good product overall. I find it does what it claims to do. It repaired my dry hair. Four out of five because it's rare for me to find a product that I use on its own. And I'm only gonna rate something five out of five if I think that it can do what I need it to do on its own. So this is good for that hydration, but as for styling, I wouldn't really recommend it for styling. I need something to define my curls too. And this is good for conditioning. Now when it comes to styling, since I have my extensions in, I really need for my curls to curl. When I get right out of the shower and I leave my hair, it frizzes up a bit. It's, the curls are still there, but I need for them to be more defined. And this has really done that for me. I finished her up, okay? This is Shea Moisture's Coconut and Hibiscus Curl Enhancing Smoothie with Neem Oil. I rate this five out of five because I think that it can work on its own. If you're looking for a one-stop shop, it conditions, has the anti-frizz properties, the moisture and the shine. If I add a little bit of water to it, it'll do all the styling. I really do like it and it took me quite a while to get through it. So this would get a five out of five from me. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope that you enjoyed the video and got some helpful tips and try out some of these products. I'll see you guys next week. Guys, I've reached a thousand subscribers and I'm so freaking excited. I can't even begin to explain. I wanna thank every single one of you so much for watching and enduring all of my cheesy, cheesy videos in the beginning. A lot more will be coming this, a lot, a lot less of cheesy videos, but a lot more videos will be coming this summer. Now that the weather is warm, I'm so motivated and I've got a couple great ideas coming. I would love to do a giveaway. I also wanna film a video showing you guys some more of my skills and hobbies, just a bit more of who I am so you can get to know me more and hopefully we can connect on a deeper level. I'm really into art, so I'm hoping to do either a giveaway with curly hair products or if you guys would be interested, I would love to draw one of my subscribers. But yeah, if that's something that would interest you guys, please let me know down below. And if you have any more topics you would like to see me cover, whether it's advice, lifestyle, dietary, or anything like that, please let me know. Comment down below. And if you're new, be sure to subscribe, okay? Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you next week.